Right now, leaders of St. Pete Beach are fired up over a plan to bus large amounts of people to the beach. Commissioners just wrapped up a special meeting, making it clear they don't want the current plan that's being offered. Eight on your side's Corey Davis just stepped out of that meeting. He joins us now live at St. Pete Beach City Hall. Corey, what happened there? Hey, Evan. Good morning to you. Well, I can tell you city commissioners, they voted unanimously against what they call a bus rapid transit plan, also known as BRT. Their biggest concern here is Gulf Boulevard and uh, putting 60 foot buses out here. And they're worried just about how it would affect the beach community. But I can tell you those commissioners say they are still willing to talk. The bus rapid transit would connect downtown St. Petersburg to Pinellas County beaches using First Avenue North and South south right now there are a number of yard signs we spotted actually along that route reading saveourstreets.net no to bus only lanes the project will have 15 minute wait times using dedicated bus lanes along first avenue supporters of the plan say it's a way to prepare for the future and help reduce the number of cars at beaches st pete beach commissioners are concerned though that it could mess up the traffic flow and interfere with future construction projects along Gulf Boulevard, which is their main corridor. Well, I think we got to put a stake in the ground and say, listen, you know, here's where we are and where we are right now is not acceptable to us. Let's keep talking. They want to keep talking, but St. Petersburg Mayor Rick Kreisman made it clear in a letter to commissioners here at the beach that the city is prepared to move forward with or without their support. Kreisman has been working with uh, PSTA, the agency that runs the county bus system. And St. Petersburg leaders, they uh, will meet today actually at 3 o'clock, and that's when they will decide on whether they're going to give $4 million toward this bus rapid transit plan. Aid on your side will definitely stay on top of this. We've been following it along the way, and we'll definitely let you know what happens on air in our WFLA mobile app. Evan, back to you. Corey, all over this story. Great information, man. Thank you.